Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Today I have to disclose that I received a free product for a review. And I was a little bit surprised because I always thought that you needed like thousands of subscribers before any company would consider sending you a free product. But in this case, it's the Mikotronics R58 that I received today. And I already took it out of the shipping box. So here we have, well, just the box for the device itself. It says mini 8 plus 64 gigabytes. So 8 gigabytes of memory and 64 gigabytes of storage. So let's see what we have in the box. So we have the R58 itself. So it's a uh, aluminium black casing. And so on the front we have, it says infrared, a reset button, USB 3 port, two USB 2 ports, a Type-C port, recovery and a power button. So here you see some holes, but it is passively cooled, so no fan. Here there's nothing. So this is for the antennas, Wi-Fi, single Ethernet, HDMI in port, and there's two HDMI out ports, and the barrel plug 12 volts for power. Here is the display port, and there is some sort of SATA connection. So in theory you should be able to connect a hard disk, something like that. So that's the device itself. So there's more in the box. Because it's at infrared, so we have a remote. And there's a USB dongle inside. So I'm not sure if it's it, it looks like this is also infrared, but perhaps you can choose between infrared and the uh, dongle and you need two batteries. So here we have HDMI 2.1 cable, 1.5 meters. This is USB C to USB A cable, power plug. I think this is for the SATA connector. And I don't think I'm going to test this today. I'll have a look at it later on. There's two Wi-Fi antennas. And this is the power supply with the barrel plug. And that's all that's in the box. Now, as I already bought the Mikotronics R58X, I'll try to show them together. And now well, let's see. Probably I need to put them a little bit higher. So let's see if I put this box here. Then we have the R58X here on top of the box. And I put the 
R58 on top of that. So it is uh, smaller on this side. It's about the same on this side. And they have mm, almost similar height, but I think the R58 is just a few millimeters higher. So, let's see, let's make some room. So, I'm going to connect the R58, so we're going to plug in HDMI and let's see <clears throat> we'll just turn on the 1080p monitor Power. And I'm going to plug in Ethernet. And I'm going to connect a mouse. So let's see. And well, my monitor is ten eighty P. So we can choose 1080p 60. Okay. And let's see. About. So it's Android TV OS 12 with the security patch level from April. And it looks like it was compiled on the 16th of June. So let's see. We can sign in. So I'll just in the keyboard. Uh -huh. Okay. To uh, blank the password. Okay, so we can do accept. And now, when we go to the Play Store, then the Play Store is working. So, just as a quick test, 
we can do no we don't need to sync and we'll do the webgl aquarium so i just tested this like a couple of minutes ago with the r58x and then with 5000 hmm that's uh Oh, I think it wants to uh, update. So when we go here, yeah, 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 that's okay. So let's see. Yep, update Chrome. go here so when we go to 5000 then with the R58X with 4 gigabytes of memory it was in the high 40s sometimes it would hit like 50 frames per second um, but here you can see that probably with 8 gigabytes of memory. I don't know if it's because of dual channel memory or something like that. Um, but with 5000 fishes on a 1080p screen, we're almost hitting 60. So, yeah, it looks like that the 8 gigabyte model is definitely faster than the 4 gigabyte model. So, when you are considering buying either the R58 or the R58X, I really would recommend going for the 8 gigabytes memory model. So this was just a quick unboxing and just a quick test with the WebGL Aquarium. And I will do some more tests in my next video and I would like to thank Mikotronics for sending me the R58 for free. Uh, I still had to pay let's just say import taxes but yeah that's government that has nothing to do with Mikotronics. Um, and as I said I will do some more testing but I will do that in another video and now that I have two uh, Rockchip RK3588 devices with HDMI in I can do uh, screen recording uh, on one device so that the other device can run uh, full speed without any performance loss uh, because of screen recording so again, a big thank you to Mikotronics for sending the R58 for free. That's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.